video tutorial by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a Victorian marbling effect. The sort of thing you'd find inside books, in the old Victorian books, and probably now as well. I'm certain they still exist. But anyway, first thing to do, just quick, I've got already the start of it here. I'm just going to quickly show you what I do. Just going to go over here and I'm going to set it to green now. Just go to effects and blobs. And you can see the blobs straight away. You can modify it. Now the key thing here is use current colour. There's paste buffer, which so you can sort of feed in a sort of image or type or whatever, and pattern. Again, you can just obviously select a pattern and use that. I'm going to go for number of blobs. I'm going to make that a bit less now, 40. And you can see there's a preview on, so it just varies. You can see it varies. I do that. I can click there and do that over and over again. You get some really nice marbling effect. Now, just going to go with that, but I can change the size, maybe make that 40 for each of the blob, that's a minimum size, and maybe maximum size, reduce down a bit. So I can just go to 100, and you can see the blobs come a bit smaller. Click OK. Now I'm going to go for a dark colour this time. Now you can actually, if you go to effects and blobs, you can see the colour. Now that's sometimes what, with these sort of Victorian books, you can actually see quite dark colours. Now I'm um, just going to set that to 200 this time and again you can see the the other colors still there sort of been now maybe that's a bit too high i think sometimes if you have it too high it suddenly crushes out all the other other things so it's probably best to actually put it down a little lower than that and there is one great thing about this you can actually if you decide i don't want green that dark green i don't want it and I can turn around, and I can actually just come over here and I actually can change it straight away. Maybe go for that dark sort of red that you often see in these sort of Victorian books as well. And again, let's say, go over there, click OK. And I can continue on. Obviously, I can fill the whole thing. I could have started with a sort of obviously a, maybe a darker background as well. That would have been just as good as well. So sort of go with a sort of very dark red background and then go through there. Or another option. You can actually use layers. So that's another way. Just have a, obviously a background layer, and then just layer it on with this blob effect. Now, once you've actually got that, and that would be quite decent as a Victorian uh, marbling as well. But you can, of course, use some marbling effect. And I'm just going to quickly go down there, and there's an apply marbling, and that's an esoterica, and just apply marbling. And you can see this. Now you put the preview on, and I'm just going to quickly. So that can create some really, really nice sort of. Now maybe that's a bit extreme, and you can of course just modify that. And there's a number of steps, so it's quite good here. You've got to uh, save steps. You can load marbling steps as well. So there's there's a whole range of click OK, and so you can look at that, see if that's the one you want, and you can change that like that. And again. Click OK once you're happy with the actual marbling effect you want with these blobs and also applying that to a filter. Now that's it. Just a quick run through of creating some uh, fairly interesting Victorian marbling effects in Painter. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.